Are you looking for a leather fragrance for coming weather on a budget? Then stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dev Shor. Now in today's video, I'm presenting to you one of the new alternative to one of the most famous fragrance in the world called Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Now Tom Ford Tuscan Leather is so famous that Drake uh, you know, mentioned this particular fragrance in one of his songs. So it's quite a famous fragrance. A lot of celebrities wear this particular fragrance. However, I don't own Tom Ford Tuscan Leather, at least the full bottle of it. I only, you know, have a decan bottle of it. And the reason for that has always been the Sassi La Yuquam Port Home. When I tested that particular fragrance back in 2014, I thought this is 99% close. I don't need to buy the original. However, what has happened is that in the recent time, La Yukon Poor Home has been reformulated and a lot of you people were looking for an alternative. So I'm presenting to you House of Ahmed Al Maghribi and their fragrance called Leather. It's touted as the killer to Rasasi La Yukon Poor Home. So let's see if that is correct or not. We will start with the presentation first. Let's start with the presentation. Now, if you look into the box of it, it has got a tan color to it, which is, I guess, symbolizing the tan breeze from where the leather come. And it has leather written on the front. On the back, you've got uh, details. It's EDP concentration. Uh, it's made in UAE. And I think uh, it has 39% volume to it. And on the bottom, I see the expiration code and the batch code. On the top, it says House of Hamad. Now, as soon as you open up the box, the bottle does not sit very tightly. It's a very flimsy box. The box could be better in my opinion, but the bottle is frosted bottle. It's a very simplistic, classy bottle, I will say. Uh, it has got leather written on it. On the back, there is nothing. On the bottom, it says EDP and made in UAE. The cap is I like the cap actually it's very classy cap it's a plastic cap though it looks like a wooden cap and it sits very tightly on the top so very nice cap i will say and uh, the sprayer is very very good so i will say i like the bottle design of it i like the simplistic bottle design of it the box not so much i will say uh, so i will give it 8.5 out of 10 on presentation looking at the price point of about 18.99 for 50 ml let's start with the note breakdown of this particular perfume now what i did was i compared this particular fragrance with my vintage tuscan leather juice which i have got i think the, that is from 2014 or 2012 i don't exactly remember but it's pretty both now as soon as i spray it what i was seeing was in leather was there was a richness to it and you smell the saffron, the spices coming through. In Tuscan leather, along with spices and saffron, you see a touch of raspberry note, which was not present in the leather, which was making Tuscan leather more smoother. This was slightly more raw than Tuscan leather, but still smooth and rich. I will say this, the opening of it was about 90% close to the original Tuscan leather vintage formulation. And in about 30 minutes, I start smelling the note of leather accord coming through along with the accord of jasmine now in tuscan leather also the same thing was happening and i felt at this point they became more closer about 95 percent close they were together and uh, what i will say was that tuscan leather was projecting slightly more than the leather leather but it's not very far behind it's pretty close i will say now the dry down of this particular perfume, which is quite famous as a lot of people compare it with the cocaine, the drug which we talk about. Now I've never smelled cocaine, so I can't tell you if it smells like that or not, but it's very ashy and smoky along with Tuscan, uh, Tuscan leather note, along with suede leather also. Now I think that is coming from a cord of amber and some woody accords which are there, which are providing that. And I felt at the base, the dry down of it, it was almost similar to Tuscan leather. So Tuscan leather was slightly, like I said, it was projecting more. But I felt that at the end of it, this lasted much longer than Tuscan leather, about two to three hours longer. Because Tuscan leather was lasting about nine to 10 hours on my skin. 
this was lasting about 12 to 13 hours on my skin so it was outperforming tuscan leather by a long time now this particular scent profile of tuscan leather is quite masculine scent profile i don't expect a lot of women to be able to pull it off unless you have a very you know a strong personality i will say and this is very much a fall and winter kind of uh, fragrance also with very low compliment factor to it not many people will compliment on this particular scent profile but in general leather was you know was there it was there along with tuscan leather it was not far from it i believe rasasi lyukong was closer to tuscan leather but this is not very far behind so what is my overall thought on this particular fragrance i think a lot of people will move away from rasasi lyukong pour home now they will stop searching for those vintage uh, uh, lyukong pour home formulation because i believe this particular fragrance captures the essence of tuscan leather very well and if you have to look into the price point of it this particular fragrance is about 1899 for 50 ml at fragaholic.in and tuscan leather is about 50 ml about 16000 rupees 70000 rupees that mark so the price point is very different and rasasi is about i think 6 to 7000 rupees but rasasi has been you know lyukong pour home has been reformulated so that's a big issue with that particular fragrance So in my opinion this fragrance does the job if you're looking for that raw leather kind of scent profile which you're looking for very masculine scent profile so i highly recommend this particular fragrance it's a very good value for money fragrance but like rasasi lyukom pour home there is a big chance that this fragrance will get reformulated most of the good clones their first couple of batches are pretty good and you know later on they reformulated and this happens with most of most of the clones so my recommendation is that if you're looking for a leather fragrance go ahead and buy this particular fragrance because this will be your great companion in the coming you know season uh, fall and winter and this lasts pretty long it's it has got the richness it goes through all the phases like what tuscan leather also goes through and like i've said in this on this channel that journey does not happen with the clone fragrance they only target the dry down but this fragrance was going through the top notes the middle note and the dry down so i enjoyed this particular fragrance i enjoyed this particular house also ahmed al maghribi this house does very good perfumes in my opinion at budget so guys this is my review i hope you enjoyed it until next time have a great day bye bye cheers